Hey guys, I hope you've been enjoying the content that I've been bringing you here on the Airgun Web YouTube. I wanted to just take a quick second to let you know that I have another YouTube channel. It's called Shooting Gear Reviews, SGR. I'll put the link right here in the description for you guys. Click that head on over, get subscribed to that channel. I'm doing reviews on the Evanex guns, of course, on that channel. I'm doing lots of other cool stuff over there. Just there's so much stuff that we want to talk to you guys about. Air guns, man, there's just not enough days in the week. I got Rick and Angie trying to post over here, so I have to segregate some of my content, send it over there to the shooting gear reviews, and that's cool because it gives you guys even more great air gun content to check out. So please, like I say, if you like what I'm doing here, join me over on shooting gear reviews. There's lots more cool stuff over there to check out, and I'll see you guys over there. Hey guys, Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner out here again today with the Evanex Rex 50 Cal. This thing is awesome. I'm growing to like it more and more. Guys, I never thought I wanted a 50 cal until I shut this thing a few times and now I really am liking it. This is not part two of the series of the videos on the Evan X Rex 50 cal, but what this is, is it's sort of just like a little uh, teaser piece for you guys and, a, and kind of a correction for me because check it out. I'm learning how to shoot big bores, guys. I've been shooting like 22, 25 cal, 177, a lot for years. And those are more like finesse guns. If you watched the first video with this, you might have noticed that in the accuracy portion, I had it rested on the bag here and I was supporting the rear of the gun kind of like that, just like I would if I was shooting one of my lower caliber PCPs that doesn't really have too much of a kick. And that works when you don't have a gun that really pushes. Now this thing, 50 cal, pushing over 200 foot-pounds of energy, yeah, it's got a little bit of a push to it. And what I've found, guys, is that really to get the best accuracy, you need to hold on to this thing. You need to use what I call basically like a grip it and rip it, sort of a, of a shooting style. And by that I mean this is not a finesse gun, so you need to hug this tight into your shoulder. You need to grip this for... Uh, stock of the gun here pull it tight into your shoulder you need to you know hold your hand here pretty tight as well but obviously keep your finger figure loose kind of use these two fingers here to pull the gun into your shoulder a little bit more and then you take your shot and you you that you just got to kind of get lined up and rip that trigger guys I don't know how else to describe it that's what you got to do here's the other part guys know your gun since I did that first video, I've done a lot of shooting with this gun, okay? So now I know when I fill it to what pressure, where it's going to be hitting at that pressure, and then consecutively how it's going to fall off shot after shot after that. This is not regulated. This isn't meant to go and do bench rest shooting and get 500 shots per fill. This gets you like at max five shots per fill, and really, in my experience, only three really good, dead accurate, usable shots per fill. But you guys, come on, how many deer tags do you really have? You only need one shot, right? So if you can get that one shot to be accurate and powerful, this thing is, a, is definitely gonna do the job. So I'm gonna show you how I can do that right now. I'm gonna do three shots on each of these targets and we're gonna get all three shots on the shoot and see. Here we go. All right, so you can see that first shot went a little bit high. So what I did was I just aimed a little low. Now this next shot should hit right at the crosshairs. I'm gonna aim right, just dead on. And there it goes, through the first hole, okay? So, I hope you're starting to get the point here. The thing is accurate, you guys, because I like to be just maybe a little bit redundant. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys a repeat of that right now. Here we go, number two. We got the second target out there. We're gonna put all three shots on the target. Whoever thinks that the Evan X Rex 50 Cal needs uh, some accuracy improvement, just needs to watch this video. So, here we go. These are little three inch shoot and see targets, guys. Not a big target for a 50 yard target for a 50 cal air gun like this. 
Okay, there's one. And three. There you go, guys. Evan X Rex 50 Cal. In case you're wondering, this is the ATN X Sight 4K. The scope is awesome. The footage you guys just saw was taken through the scope. So check it out, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to head on over to the first video in this little series on the Evan X Rex 50 Cal. I'll put the link in the description below. And be sure to stay tuned, you guys, because this thing's going out coyote hunting next. You see, it's got the accuracy, it's got the power, we've got the scope to film the kill, and that's what we're gonna be bringing you guys. So stay tuned and check that out. Be sure if you haven't done so already, get subscribed. And um, gosh, I guess that's it for today. I'm Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner, out here proving some accuracy with the Evan X Rex 50 Cal and having a whole lot of fun with my air guns. I hope that you guys are too, and I'll see you next time.